this Sarge here at C4 Defense. My buddy Alec and I from KGB Survivalist are going to show you how we run our CZ Scorpions. Now first things first, safety. Magazine out. Let's make sure the chamber is empty. It is. Now let me show you how I have mine set up. Starting off, I have an N-Force WML Gen 2 weapon light, which in my opinion is probably the best weapon light on the market. It's nice and slim, easy to access. Just it works good for me. Next, I added some rail cover just the other day. It kind of softens it up just a little bit. Nothing to bang your hands on or your thumbs or your knuckles. So definitely a good addition. All right, I put on the HB extended charging handle. The one drawback of the Scorpion, I feel the charging handle is just a little bit small, but this is a good addition, very reasonably priced. Next, I've got the Magpul front sling mount for if we need to go single point or dual point, depending on whether we need our hands free. Then I've got the Magpul angled foregrip. Makes a nice, comfortable position for me. It's a very good addition as far as I'm concerned. I've got the Hollow Sun 503 sight on this. If anybody's familiar with Hollow Sun, they feature the circle dot system. I have this dialed in at 25 yards for the dot. So when I get up close in the five to seven yard range, the bottom of the circle is right where we need to be in case we need to make a precision shot. Excellent. Next we have the SB tactical folding brace, which this is what allows it to go in that backpack that I had. It makes a nice, small, nifty little package, locks out. You can shoot it one handed. It makes it, it's, probably one of the best folding braces on the market right now. And finally, we have my ultra high tech key ring, which is how I attach, how I attach my sling. So Alec, show us how you have your setup. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and clear my weapon as well. Chamber is clear. Uh, my sling system is just a little bit different. I have the Magpul, uh, the QD points, and I have uh, a rear mount. I tried using the forward and rear, but I found that the charging handle kind of uh, bruises your knuckles with the forward uh, quick point. So I just have the rear point. This is uh, by PKKM, I believe, Parker Mountain. Um, of course, I have this is my Gearworks uh, tail hook. This is aluminum construction, and if you push the button right here, it comes right out. So this is the intended use right here but you can use it in other different ways. Of course, a side foldable. Uh, moving down to the, the trigger uh, mechanism, the industries, this is a, a more flat face trigger, uh, a little bit easier on the follow-up shots, and I have some of the uh, lightened uh, springs. So the disconnect and the trigger sear components, they're way smoother and I can take those precision shots. Uh, on top, I have my Trigicon MRO, uh, this is a slightly bigger objective lens, and so it would be easier for me to pick up targets and, and track them. Uh, of course, just like Sarge, I have a HB Industries extended uh, charging handle. And I'm telling you guys, these really save your fingers. And if you're wearing gloves or anything like that, it helps you so, 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 so much. It's money well spent. Next to the trigger spring, that's the next thing you need to get is the extended charging handle. I, I, would, I would say get the charging handle, extended charging handle and maybe a brace of some kind. Those are probably the two most uh, experience altering options there. Uh, of course, right here, this is a factory OEM hand stop. Uh, I really do like it and I have it moved all the way up. Uh, I have some rail covers because I found uh, that these will chew up your gloves just a little bit. And this is obviously just a little bit better. But yeah, uh, let's, uh, we'll show you guys some more shooting and how we operate these weapons and how we carry them and what kind of rigs and setups are, are available. Now one thing I forgot to mention was I added the AK style safety. With this one it's a little bit difficult for me to reach with my thumb. It's a little, it takes a little more pressure but when I added the AK safety it works super smooth, super easy. Money well spent, HP Industries. Let's go ahead and we'll show you the rest of the setup. Now let's take a better look at my backpack. This is the way I carry my CZ Scorpion. This is 
particularly meant to be non-threatening. Uh, if I throw a couple med pouches on this, it's going to look just like a, a medic bag, not threatening in the least, yet it contains quite a bit inside. Now inside the bag, which is a single sling, single point bag with the stabilization strap, holds one fully operational CZ Scorpion. This one, like I said, we carry it cruiser safe, full mag, empty chamber, safety on. We have that. Has several pockets inside, pockets outside up here. I've got first aid kit with a complete with tourniquet, quick clot, Israeli bandage, just in case something terrible happens. In addition to that, we have got it holds seven. I've got six in it right now, plus one in the in the gun itself. I have five 30 round mags and two 40 round mags. So I have 190 rounds of ammunition in this bag. It's non-threatening. Uh, it's not menacing in the least, and most people don't even notice. Like I said, we put a couple med pouches on the outside of that. Look like public safety. So you guys just saw Thug's rig and the, you know, kind of like a concealed carry version of that Evo. Just remember, there's plenty of ways, probably a couple hundred ways to carry your Evo or similar type sub gun like that. Uh, I'm gonna kind of talk about one of my setups here. Just keep in mind, there's not a perfect one, uh, and you can customize it to whatever you need. Uh, so this is just a four MP5 style uh, quad quadruple pouch in the front. It's the Eagle Industries. Uh, and then I have a day pack, also by Eagle, uh, Eagle Industries. Uh, again, guys, you can adapt it to whatever uh, the, the mission may hold to, or you know, if it's a range day or a hike in the woods, whatever. Just keep that in mind. And there you have it, the CZ Scorpion. Wonderful weapon system. It is geared towards just a multitude of different scenarios. You see the way that I carry it, the way that Alec carries it. Like I said, these are just two ways. And I want to thank Alec for coming out of retirement with KGB Survivalist Channel. Give me a hand here today. And, and what do you think about this? Uh, I mean, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the, the Evo. Um, and I just want to remind you guys, go ahead and get ammo, practice up, get efficient, uh, you know, be on target because that's what it's really all about, being proficient with, with your systems. Uh, otherwise, it's just a wall ornament that's all that, it is. That, that you can have. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, working with Sarge uh, more uh, in C4 Defense. And we have plenty of other uh, videos that we want to collab on. So look for us in the future. And uh, yeah, always a pleasure to be here, guys. Like I said, subscribe to KGB Survivalist on YouTube. Subscribe to C4 Defense on YouTube. Comment and like this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that notification icon. We'll see you on the range.